today we're going to make sure that you are familiar with balancing. Balancing equation is sometimes difficult for students, but I think this video will help you to make it very simple. We're going to start with this first problem. This is actually on your page number nine, so you do have this. Okay, so the first problem is number seven. We're going to balance this. The first thing that you will probably notice is that your aluminums are not the same amount. You have two aluminums on the left and only one aluminum on the right. Okay, so it's not the same. Also, you have three oxygens on the reactant side, only two oxygens on the product side. Not the same. The only thing that you can do when you, add, when you balance an equation is make sure that you add more of something. You can't just scratch out something and be like, hey, no, they're the same. That won't work. Okay? So you do have two sides. You have a reactant side and a product side. They do need to be equal. That's what the arrow or yield sign is indicating to you. That means since you have two aluminums on the reactant side, you're going to need to have two aluminums on the product side. So go ahead and add another aluminum. Your aluminums are balanced. The next thing you should take a look at is the oxygen. You have three oxygens on the reactant side, only two oxygens on the product side. So let's add some more oxygens. When you add oxygen, since it has a subscript of two, you still have to add it. Now the, the product side has four. This side still just has three. This side now has less. We're going to have to make sure that we add more. And unfortunately, we can't just add one. We have to add it exactly like it is taught already. The aluminum as well. So we will have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six oxygens on the reactant side. And on the product side, only four oxygens. That means we need more oxygen on the product side. Now if we take a look at our aluminum, we're noticing there are a total of how many aluminums on the reactant side? Four, that's correct. One, two, three, four. So the product side needs to have four aluminums as well. Double check everything. Notice that we still have not written any coefficients yet. So you have four aluminums on the reactant side, four aluminums on the product side. So the total of six oxygens on the re reactant side and a total of six oxygens on the product side. Once you're sure everything is balanced, it's now time to write our coefficients. When you put in coefficients, the way I think of it is I think how many times was the molecule aluminum oxide written? And I think, okay, it's been written twice. How many times was the element of aluminum written? And it was written four times. And lastly, how many times did you have oxygen written? And you had it written three times. So your coefficients are two, four, and three. That can't be simplified because you can't divide anything to make those numbers smaller than what they are and still end up with whole numbers. The last thing, after you balance, or even before you balance, you're going to want to make sure that you can classify this type of a reaction. And when I say classify, it means, is it a synthesis? Is it a decomposition? Is it a single replacement? 